Welcome back to the channel, friends. Today, I'm going to show you guys the best way to farm sweet leaves and silk in Palea. And now, this officially brings us to Bahari Bay. As you can see here on the map, I'm going to go ahead and pull a screenshot up to show you guys the specific route that we like to use. We like to start off here right around the ancient aqueduct, and we're going to work our way pretty much in this weird kind of circle-ish, oval-ish um, pattern, basically going through all the different areas. And I'm going to walk you guys through exactly what those locations are, but this is going to be what we're going to show you here in today video and now the reason why I love this method when it comes to farming sweet leaves and utilizing this path specifically is because there are a ton of different resources that you can also collect along the way via this path obviously sweet leaves because that's what this is you know specifically designed to farm but two every time you loot these sweet leaves you have the ability to proc a bug basically the mantis and also catching the mantis you also can loot some silk which can sometimes even be three silk per mantis that you collect once again you can also sell this mantis for gold alongside those you also can collect briar daisies so you have the rare chance to find some of these throughout the the entire path and then also on top of that you have iron ore and even we have palium ore that you can also collect via this exact same route and additionally it's worth mentioning that this works a lot better with more people because having more people will obviously allow you to be able to cover more ground a lot faster and you can all participate in loot not only the sweet leaves but the mantis catches and also the ores that you find along the way Alrighty, guys so to start off our run here we're gonna pretty much just put this area here the stables behind us and then we're gonna go ahead and run in this direction the idea is literally just to stay on the path that I showed you via the map. And what you're looking for is just basically scouring the entire area. You can see there's a couple of mushrooms here, but here's going to be one right here that we can loot. There you go. That's the very first sweet leaf we've got on our run. And you're going to continue moving in this direction. Like I was saying before, you want to make sure you keep your eyes peeled. And one really good tip I can give you when it comes to foraging in general, not just for sweet leaf. You can see we got one over there is going to be actually doing this in a group because having more people will make it 10 times easier for you to you to be able to see and cover more ground because you'll just simply have more eyes and more bodies running around but by yourself it can absolutely be done we're gonna go ahead and collect all the sweet leaf that was a star one which was very nice do a little a little peek up there not too often I see it spawn up there so it's worth just you know checking every now and then but we're gonna go ahead and cross the little uh ruins here and once we get over here, once again, we need to check both sides. So we're going to probably go up top here first to kind of get a better view. Uh, I see nothing floating around here that's glowing out. And then over here in the distance, do I see anything to the left? I don't think I do. Um, no, nothing peeking off over there. Okay, so this is going to be our cue that we need to actually turn. As you can see here, we could actually go that direction if you want. But for me personally, I like to actually continue my way here. You don't want to go too far or you don't want to really go past this road because there's not really a whole lot that spawns um, in that direction. So we're going to go continue working our way here. Keep the ruins in our path to our left. Kind of hug this right side. Once again, we want to check both sides. We got a mushroom here on the right hand side. Not really interested in any mushrooms. We can see over here to the left. Let's fly across. And on the left, ooh, nothing over here either. Okay, so very interesting. So we keep on rolling. We keep on moving. Now, once again, we're, we're, you've got two different paths. You could go left here, which is going to take you more to, like, Tamala's house, which we don't really need to do. Um, so we're going to actually stick to the right instead. Once again, we're going to keep the ruins and everything over here to our left. We're not going to really worry about going through there. We're going to continue working our way through. Once again, checking high and low, making sure everything is good. Sometimes there'll be a uh, fishing hotspot right here, so you might want to stop and uh, pull out your fishing pole and actually fish it if you are looking to uh, increase your fishing level as well. But either way, we're going to come back over here. You can kind of see that that's Tamala's house tucked away here in the little corner area. Again, I wouldn't worry about um, that whatsoever. I continue on this path. Once again, uh, you'll find some... some You'll actually find some iron nodes as well over here. So if you are looking to farm some of those, you can get some of these on the exact same path for the sweet leaves. Again, I wouldn't really worry too much about calling these out to people in the chat. Because normally iron is something that a lot of people are actually have enough of as of right now in this point of the game. Um, when it comes to Palium though, I definitely still recommend calling it out in chat. Trying to make sure that everybody can get a hit on it. And if you are in a group, uh, you could do the same thing for any ore that you're farming. But anyways... We're going to continue on our journey. We're going past here again, back there in that water and that cove. 
there's not a really a whole lot of anything in there. I know there might be some ores or, you know, some mushrooms or things like that, but same thing goes for this here. It's not really worth going up to the top. Instead, what I recommend doing is just kind of working your way through, you know, going back and forth, making sure your eyes are covering everything. As you can see, there's one right here. Go ahead and pull this one up. Um, I highly recommend also pulling out your, uh, your smoke bombs because a lot of times when you loot the sweet leaves, you'll actually spawn an insect and specifically the mantis insect. And what makes this one really nice is uh, you can have smoke bombs already ready to go and catch them. And they actually produce silk from catching them. So I believe you can produce up to three silk per catch. So it's a nice little way to generate silk at the same time you're also farming sweet leaves. Look at this one tucked away here in the very tip. Go ahead and pick that one up. Very nice. And then, all right, so once again, this kind of gives you the, the boundary. You can see there's a bridge that leads across there to the left. We're not going to bother with that. We're actually going to keep the water to our left, and we're going to continue continue on along the way here. Once again, kind of just keeping your eyes peel, peeled. Check everything across the way. Mushrooms. Once again, not interested in any mushrooms. And we kind of just work our way alongside this ridge. You're going to keep the little riverbank to your left mushroom nothing over there nothing that we're interested in we're going to turn back around again letting the water pretty much guide us at this point and we are actually going to cross the water here and then once we cross the water here we're almost to where the geyser is now this is going to be an interesting point here as well we've got one right here very nice we'll pull that one up all right now here's going to be an interesting tip so when you guys get to this little point right here and i could show you guys on the map um if you click um press m this will bring up, it'll show you right here at Prownhorn Pass. Now you can see here, this is a geyser. So if we look off this edge, there's a geyser down there. Now one tip that I will give you is sometimes Paleum actually can spawn right here on these locations. Like right basically on the edges of this entire cliff going down. So if you happen to see a rock here, because the rock and the Paleum spawns are in the, on the exact same spawn rotation... Go ahead and mine that that rock get rid of it just to see if you know paleum will actually spawn the next time around but either way we're going to go ahead and uh, walk across the edge and then we're going to actually take the geyser up a little bit further so let's go ahead and drop in here kind of float on your on your uh glider because sometimes there'll be paleum here there could be stones here iron here you name it it can absolutely happen so we're going to go ahead and drop down in here and the same thing goes for Paleum down here. There's a bunch of little areas on the side walls that Paleum can actually spawn. So you want to make sure that you jump down here before taking the geyser back up. Peek your head through here once just to make sure. Either way, we're going to go ahead and take the geyser back up. And I'm going to show you guys uh, the restart basically of the farm. Alrighty, so now that we took the geyser back up, we're just going to go to the very top here um, from where the geyser was utilizing our glider before we jump back down. Because sometimes briar daisies can actually spawn here as well. And then that's essentially going to be the entire run. We're going to drop down right here in the start, right here where we officially started. And that, my friends, is the official Sweet Leaf Farm. As I mentioned here before, I really recommend bringing smoke bombs with you for the entire Sweet Leaf Farm because every now and then it will proc one of those mantises. And on top of getting sweet leaves, you also can then be farming some silk along with a mantis that you can then sell for additional gold. But hopefully this video helps you guys out with farming sweet leaves. And not only that, farming sweet leaves is a really good opportunity for players right now because it'll give you entry into a lot of these cake parties, which then you can make massive, massive amounts of gold. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Paleo related. And with that being said, as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.